I'd be curious to hear about like a lesson you've learned, like what's a, what's a mistake you've made or a lesson that you've had that really brought that out and really brought you further in your journey? Oh, man, if I need to count all the mistakes I made. <laughs> <laughs> Just the fun ones. <laughs> yeah, there are so many, uh, I think, mistakes, uh, you know, I, I did... Uh, it, it's it's hard to say particulars, right? But I but I think probably the most important thing I learned out is that first of all, you know, uh, for every no, right, learn something new. Yeah. So no is not uh, a defeat. Okay, so it's 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 you know it's just another way to learn what to do right. Okay, and how to get next yes. So I think this is probably a very important lesson you learn with the time, right? Because when you just start, you every know it's it's like an end of the world, right? It's it's a big drama, and you think, oh, you know, all my assumptions are gone, yeah. and so on. And with the time, you learn, you, learn, you learn that actually no is just a right path forward. Um, so I think it's probably the biggest lesson you can learn uh, as an entrepreneur. You know, just yeah. just to carry on to see why you got no and to learn how you can get the next yes. I love the, uh, you know, basically the emphasis on the optimism is so true because uh, it's related to that first point, you know, that it's, there's so many obstacles in the way that you have to have some driving, an energy, a need to do this. Why right. are you doing this, right? And uh, I learned, I did this once where I uh, learned two things like that about the optimism. My first business plan had me breaking even after a year. And after three years, I realized it was going to be seven years, you know? <laughs> And um, yeah, and the other part, of course, is that, you know, the, the when you're an entrepreneur, as you know, your days are filled with things you're not good at and things you don't like to do, because yeah. the other two things are already taken care of, you know, <laughs> they, they yeah, really true. Fine. True. True. so yeah, and then of course, that there are so many mistakes to be made that you have to try them all, you can't be making the same one over and over again, you know, yeah. Yeah, I think, you know, it's uh, th this is, I think, actually, when you compare enterprise, right, large companies with uh, startups, I think startups have a privilege to make mistakes. Yeah. I think in large companies, because, you know, stakeholders and the structure and the management and, and you know, revenue structure and, and all this, I think you are much less privileged to make yeah. mistakes. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's also a great part. I mean, you know, it's, sometimes it's frustrating, but I think also a great part in being uh, in startups that you can make mistakes. And sometimes, you know, first of all, sometimes you can really have fun out of these mistakes. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and also you can learn a lot. You know, I think you can learn much more than just, you know, doing everything by the book, which many times you find in, in a large enterprise. Yeah, no, absolutely. You're usually in a large enterprise, you come to take over a process from someone. And yeah startup you're there you know somebody's just pointing to a piece of grass and says put something there you know <laughs> yeah 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 and and i think also in startups you're privileged sometimes to completely turn you know 800 180 degrees which you can't usually do in the, in the, in large enterprises right big shift yeah yeah big shifts and and big moves and and you know you, you're basically just free to do whatever you you want so you are a little bit like an artist which has a blank paper and you can start this blank paper every day over and over again, right? Yeah. 